that. You know. uh, no, that's the deal. That's the deal. That's not good. That's not drag. I want us to drag. But let's stick to the basic points I'm making here. Maybe it was int unintentional, but the basic point I'm making here is that the things they wrote are just not accurate. Maybe it was writing out of ignorance. I don't know. Mm, exactly. The intention may have been good, but wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But the advice me I will give you is this: just like I said, if a imam write a book about Christianity. That's not a book you if you want to learn about Christianity, you don't go and read a book written by an imam. So if you want to learn about tradition, you go and sit down with a traditionalist. Because a traditionalist have to sit down and learn the history, the accurate story from the beginning of the creation, the entire story of all the Orisha. We you have to learn it, you gotta to go to training and learn it. So if you want to get accurate knowledge about a, the tradition. On the spirituality, you sit down with people that are initiated, are going through the training, going through the school. Those are the people that can give you accurate knowledge, not some uh, oh. some scholars or one bourgeoisie or one reverend because they can speak English. They think they have monopoly of knowledge. They can just write books and write and give it to you. So that's the point I'm trying to make here. Okay. No, no, no problem, Mike. No problem. But I know that I've I've had um, uh, I've had. Um, um discussions with some people too and they confirmed some of these things okay and this man to this do you, uh, you concede what uh, mike is saying uh jd that uh, no. a friend cannot write a book on a uh, on uh, on tradition and deities of yoruba land without it being affected by his religious backdrop mm, no one man you, you don't the reason, the reason why I don't consider is this, okay? The reason why I don't consider is this. I've had uh, this this professor that this Yoruba professor that acts Yoruba film. What's his name? This man, this popular man. Um is it uh, Faliti or something? I've forgotten his name. They interviewed him and he gave the story of uh, uh, at least that did the discussion so good. Okay. Yes, we want to say uh, uh, want to we want we want to mystify them as the Orishas, yes. I'm not I'm not arguing that, but he was a king in Oyo. Yes, he was a king in Oyo, yes. So and then he was deified. No, and he was de wait, 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 listen, listen to me. Listen, listen. Okay. Listen. Shongo existed before even do you know that he was even Oracle saying Shongo is coming to be born. Now, this ancient days, this old time. These deities, they come and go. They didn't only exist one time. They come, they go. Our story even go back to all the way to the beginning of creation. If you go and study in the Father, our scripture, in the Torah, they will yeah. tell you when Olodumare wanted to establish the planet to be habitable. The first people mm -hmm. he sent mm -hmm. were about the six, I mean, uh, uh, about the 16 of the deities. Shango mm -hmm. was one of them. Oshun was the only female that came with them. When they mm -hmm. came on the planet, you know, share two rights, right? Even Black America will break that story down to you. When they came, and each of them had something to contribute to make the planet a habitable place. That's why Shango control rainfall. Today, if they want rain to fall, they usually consult Shango and they can make it fall, make it rain fall. So these are deities, and now they used to come and it's come in our midst, right? As humans in different ways, sometimes they will be born. Even before Shogo was born in the, to become the king of Oyo, the oracle already said it that Oma be and he will be born in the palace. Oh, you understand? Mike. So the story is deeper than just the ordinary things. You understand? So no, no, here's the deal, here's the deal. What I'm trying to tell you is this. If you wanna Although the way we will tell you the story will look kind of ridiculous because the things we'll be saying will be like, ah, ah, how is that possible? Because the ancient time, the way things were happening, oh no, oh no, wait, now wait, wait, listen, listen, don't, don't do so much argument. The way things were going on back then, it's very difficult to comprehend it with today's uh, reality, you understand? But our story is our story, and we know it. John Go, it wasn't after he became Alafi or for you that he became known or became deified. He was already a deity known before he came and became, was born in the palace, came back as a date. What do you think they say to do? I will soon return the third time. The third time. What did, what did they call the crown? Uh, what did they call the only of you for a role of Udua? They're saying he's holding the crown because Udua say he's going to come back again. You understand? The date is said they will return. Even on I say it will return. 
and there's the old in fact even said it like when Mirror is ready to return, he begin to see the whole world start to practice in fact. That means it's getting close to time where he's gonna return. So we have our own is is uh is is uh Bola Tinubu the return of Odudua. Ah well that that's uh maybe to you, yeah, maybe <laughs> but we have our own knowledge. Now if you want to get hold on, hold on, Aizo, you said that in jest. But I have always believed um, <laughs> part of the journey of Tinobo uh, to that wow. I, 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 I'm not discounting the honest involvement and the involvement of deities in it. Ah, uh, well, man, come on, man. Yeah, no <laughs> Okay, 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 one man. I I would like to yield the floor, but um, um before I yield the floor, um, Mr. Mike, I might I might like to you know learn from your you because i always believe um in learning from people okay i might like to learn from you um in the future but um, if 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 i'm to sum it up i would say i'm not saying that these people did not at these dates didn't exist before them but they existed you know to the, the people of those time as the forces of nature and it is the same in almost all mystical or traditional. And it's still it's the same to today. Yes, they resisted as forces of nature. Okay. Now it uh, is when... it, it can, well, yeah, forces we are all forces uh, of nature, even we human beings. Uh, Everything uh, about you comes from nature, you know. So. Uh, so what I'm trying to say is I I um I I I understand where you're coming from. I'm also a more also i i want to learn some things too i work with people just to learn you understand so but i understand that they were the forces of nature they they, they interacted with them as forces did, of nature. Did they? Baba can you hear me better now you are 100 percent right now okay you better now you see yeah. uh look there is no way you want to write in your history that you will not mention Reverend Samuel Johnson. She is the first Yoruba man that wrote the history of Yoruba. There are some of what he wrote that he witnessed, that he saw physically. There are some that they told him and we should consider the way the life was back then it's not easy i mean it wasn't easy to move around collecting this history from one place to the other collection of history takes time takes energy require a lot of money and determination. So for this man to write this history, I think we have to give kudos to him. There are some that didn't get right that some other historian that came after him were able to get it right. But if you are talking about, you know, the first Yoruba man that wrote the history of Yoruba, that is the source of what you can call the history of Yoruba. The man that first wrote that history, that traveled to so many places to collect all this history, is Reverend Samuel Johnson. So people should not rubbish his name that, oh, maybe colonial were using him. No. They didn't use him. I will rubbish his name. He didn't get some right. And some. Then he had no business writing the book. The, if he can't get it right. Uh -oh. Because the part I think he didn't get right is dangerous. He just destroyed people's mind, man. Uh -oh. If you don't have accurate uh -oh. knowledge, they don't, don't write anything. It's like. Uh -oh. it's like uh -oh. you, I don't know. Give me one second. What you are saying here is I serve you food with poison. No, hold and because, on. because the food, because the food part is there, you mind. should praise me. Do you want to learn or you want to argue? I mean, what I've listened to you just said just now. I mean, come on, I don't hey, think I should learn for that. Listen, but you like to argue, you want to push back. This is not a matter of uh, 
uh, two of us arguing and somebody must win. No, I'm not saying this because I want to win your, uh, I want to win you over, or I want to win. No, but the logic uh, now. Your argument. Okay, so go what ahead. I'm telling you, you look, what, what I'm telling you, you can go and research it. I'm not making it up. He, but Janet, look, this is what you just said just now. Let me quote you. You're saying, you admit that some it didn't get right, some it got right. And I'm telling okay. you, what you just explained to me, yeah. what, what you just yeah. told me is, I give you food mixed with poison, and you're saying because some is food, some is poison. Oh, no, hold on is, now, hold on. You can't give somebody wrong knowledge and say because they are right knowledge, it mixed with it. We right. Give credit to, I mean, come on, man. Don't give no. knowledge at all. No. If you don't no. give your knowledge, it's not going to be 100% accurate. No. You can't no. give people wrong no. knowledge no. because. I like to listen. No. I'm listening to you. I'm just going, responding to what you said. And you are not right. just listening first before you start fighting. Okay, finish. Yeah. What I said is that there are some that he collected by himself, that he saw, he witnessed. There are some that he heard from people. And you know, when you hear something from people, sometimes they might not get you, they might not give you the true picture, the exact picture of the history. And you know, those people that do, that history is concerned can come back later after writing his book, after so many years and say, no, it wasn't like that. This is the this is the real thing. It wasn't like that. So it has happened like that. Some of this of his work, because he heard from people, and those people that told him that history then, they didn't get it right. And people have him to correct him, to to to, to give us some facts. Okay, every day, Charlie Coco. So particularly between the history and uh, um, um, the 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 Oyo and the Ife, because it's from exactly. Oyo, it's an Oyo man. Some some of the history that, um, 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 I mean, some some of what he wrote as our history, some were, according to Ife uh, Ife people, were declared as some true. They they contradict. It's not it's not even people. Uh, when you're writing about the date, no, 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 as the day, so, as so, the but day. what I'm telling you is that what I'm telling you is that we have to consider the factor of moving around back then. It was so difficult because but, but we I don't have focus. good role as we have it. Uh, he he didn't have to move around, all he has to do is sit down with the. But oh, just stop it. Like no, no, I can't stop it. it. And that's the problem with Africa and Nigeria. That's why we are where we are today. This is where we reason, the way we approach things. That's why Oluwo, a Muslim, is crowned the king. That's the problem we're having. This mentality of uh, let's just uh, leave it, let's just let's ignore the obvious cancer. That's why we have uh, a Muslim crowned the Oluwo of Iwo. He said, let's leave it, let's leave it. Everything is just going upside down. And that's just the way we do things in Africa. Let's leave it. And everything is just going backward. The fact of the matter is, things that is dangerous, let's address it, let's not ignore it because just because they did one good effort or something, something now, now ignore the danger of evil that is something that he did. Whether he purposely did it or not, that book should be banned. You can't, you, you mentioned maybe you didn't know, you went to get knowledge from somebody. In the Western world, if you're going to write it, they have rules. If you're going to write a book and give it knowledge, they're going to ask you, what's the source of your knowledge? You have to say, this thing I'm saying, it was this man that told me. The, according to this person, according to that person, no, he's writing the book. He's giving that information categorically, as this is my knowledge. This is Yoruba knowledge. Who are you? We have monopoly. Which we have the custodian of our tradition of our knowledge. Which are the Awo the You don't know. You don't know. Wait now. Wait. Is he? Is, is wait now. Hold on. Hold on. I don't Let me talk now. Give me chance. You told me not to interject. Allow me. Of, of allow me. Allow me. Allow me now. Allow me. The people, this the custodian. Man took his own effort. Hold on, hold on. Who you cares know, about his effort? I'm talking about the rubbish he wrote. They are telling me about his effort. What's my business oh, with his effort? Hold on, hold on. This thing. Let's not go this if you want to learn, listen. This man used his own effort, not sponsored by anybody. It was his own effort to travel to many, many places within the Yoruba land to collect this history. 
I and, ended up writing rubbish. And, oh, 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 can you please, for God's sake, have you ever written Igbo? Can you even have you ever even write the history of your of your own village? Why would I go and be writing the history? So let, let me tell you this. This America you are talking today, you go to the library, you will see a book about American history, right? And go and write first story and see if you don't go to jail. On, hold on, no, hold go on. and write American first story, American hold story on, backwards, see if you don't end up in prison. On. Hold on. How 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 much have you people in that, even in that Yoruba line? I'm talking about the government now. How much have they spent? How much have they invested in no, yeah, it's a different now. You're talking about government. Do you know how much America spent to write? To, to, to write the history of this country. shifting the argument. Let's work on the family. Okay, we get that. We get that. We got bad government. That we government. We all agree. Do, but it doesn't do excuse. Know, it doesn't excuse the fact do that somebody. The importance of historian in this society. Do you? We think understand. I don't go. Am I disputing that we have bad government? Am I disputing that we have bad government? Answer do you, your do, you, do you take historian as histor as important people in your society? Do you know the way they worship historian? So you are calling some Johnson an historian, a reverence. No, I'm expressing logic here, yeah, no emotion. I'm not talking if you're talking Hebrew Nadli. Baba Jale Koko. He's a reverend. He's a Jay. He's an historian. The reverend is writing a book about our tradition, and yeah, you guys are praising him. Are you let kidding? me round up this page, please. I want to round up. No, as the pastor, let, send the pastor uh, to go and write a book about Islam and go to the north. See the northern at home. They don't have his. Baba Jale Koko, please. Let me round up. Let me round up. Uh, tell a reverend to go and write a book about Islam and travel to northern okay, Nigeria. Let's let's see, let's see let's what it is. So, it's a cost to be reverend, right? It's rubbish to be reverend. I can't be a reverend. I can be a reverend writing a book about Yoruba tradition. Are you kidding me? Uh, what are you saying? Is it not from Yoruba? What, what is this? Can are you know, kidding me? Hey, yeah, you might as well be supporting the Olu of your own now. And I tell us to go and abandon Orisha. Uh, 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 Mike, Mike, please, let, just let the argument go because I understand your history. Your own part of history is different from that. No, no, the history so, is constant. I know, I know, because yours is more deeper. Because you have to add or some songs and all that. But just let this this argument will not end. Uh, I don't think it's nice for us to be. No, it's not about argument. It's just logic. I'm trying to express. It's not really uh, yeah. what is what. It's just common logic. Mike, Mike, please. So because it's a reverend, so he cannot write anything good about it, the history of a yeah. reverend writing about Orisha. Really? Okay. Absolute, um, but I don't know yeah. what I do. I don't know the next yeah. generation of Africans can change the way they think. They just no. don't think like no. the way that people think. Man. Honestly, that's the only way Africa can be free. Because it's just the way we think that's our problem. Like, I, it's just, there's so many ways that we think, man. That, that's why we find ourselves in a mess. Like, it's just, I don't know. Okay, Baba Jai, you know, I so much respect you. And I, I what you have said today, has made me a bit uh, happy. You know, and the reason is this. This book we are talking about, there are a lot of things in that book that even the only of Ife confirmed in one of his Ologio festivals that they did. You know, the man wrote in that book that there is a scroll in Yoruba land. They call it Idi. And that the only of Ife confirmed that that scroll is still with them. But there is nobody that has the power to open that scroll. And if that history was written by that man. And if you read, the, you know why I respect him? is because he fought Ajayi Crowder to stand still, saying that Ajayi Crowder was going with the British and trying to change the narrative of the Yorubas. And that that is not the way it is. And that was why his book was rejected severally and they will not publish it. So the the the, 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 the main disparity on uh, uh, the questions on his book because I fo I followed this book very is because the Oyo and the Ife um, supremacy whatever is where the problem came came in. Nobody argued the remaining uh, part of the story. It's just that Oyo and Ife supremacy uh, thing. You know, he was the one that pointed out that it was a. Wait, 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 sorry, where where did they conclude in that uh, supremacy? Um, the you know. 
Yes, he gave the supremacy to Oyo, saying that when when uh, Oyomina left, so this excellent writer he concluded that um, yeah, yes, he he said that when Oyomina left, when Oyomina left, he left. He left uh, when uh, uh, Oyomina left, he left. He left his chief priest to oversee whatever was happening. In Ilefe. In really? fact, it was, from, it was from this man that I knew that there was a place called Oko in Yoruba. That is a, he's very strong. He's a very, very strong original. So, so, sorry, 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 sorry. He said Oromi had left his chief priest. No, 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 let, no, no, no. Let, let, let him actually say that because I think. Yeah. People, sorry, because he was going to Oyo to become the king in Oyo. He now left his chief priest. In Ilefe. and to tomorrow, if you if you if you have watched it very well, there are times when they used to say it's not in a on your fifa, it's just a, a chief priest um title that it is on it is or your or your new nile or your low nile. You know, on me or on on your or somebody that was a fighter that goes to fight different different battles and win territories for his, his father. So when he came back, they had already cleared all the properties of the father when he came. The only thing that was left was the land. And by virtue of the father, nobody could be, you know, go into battle with him. They, they, they had to concede the land to him and he was the one that shared the land. So they had, that's where all your gets or your name. This man was thorough in his, in his history. He was thorough. You understand? Oh. He, he, even even down to the even down to the Mike, 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 apologies, apologies to you. Sorry you, for you. No, 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 I don't no, want to no, continue, no. man. I can't get these things from. I've okay. learned it, I've had these things from elders too. You know, from the usual what, what, the, the reason why uh, elders the, probably won't pass talk and like that. One thing we have one problem we have in Africa is we believe when someone is older, they tell us something, it means the truth. The same with my, these uh, Biafran elders, we tell those young ones a bunch of flip yeah. story about Biafra. And they my, believe it, they will say, My papa tell me, my papa tell me, because it, an elder it, is it, did they, you know? did they look uh just because uh Brazilian just told Mike that uh, oh no, look no. at what this man said. No, and no, no, it's not, uh, no, no, no. Because of that, the entire thing written in that book is rubbish. No, you you, you misunderstood me. No, no, you know you misunderstood me. You misunderstood me. I'm telling. I make reference to him because he know better than you guys. Because he studied Ifa and from Ifa he knows. And he came to me and I saw it. I'm like, wow, that's true. It doesn't me, mean I know that myself. I'm not telling that. that no, no, hold on, hold on. I don't know. Land. Don't, don't if flip if something to me. If I doesn't mean that he know the history of. That's where land. this. That's where our story is. That's where the history. No, no. The first study is different from the history. Are you of kidding me? Land. Are you kidding me? Who's the wait, wait, wait? Who are the custodian of? Who are the custodian of the Yoruba land story? If I, wait, wait. if I is a, is a spirituality. Are you kidding me? Well, you don't, obviously you don't know now. Okay, okay, cool. Really, really. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, uh, all the, all the, wait, 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 wait. Give me a second. All the Oriki. There, there, oh. there are some old, old this guy that yeah. makes reference to the history of, of Yoruba or some places in Yoruba land. But it yeah. doesn't mean that because you study Ifa, then no. you know the wait. history of Yoruba land. Don't, don't, don't the, 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 the entire area. history of Yoruba land is five minutes. Oh, no, 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 Mike, Mike, the story of Afonja is not in any Odu. Afonja is not in any Odu. Sorry, I'm talking about the story of Afonja. We are talking about a story that pertains to our origin, the deities. Afonja is not a deity. Afonja is not anything. It's not an origin narrative. Um, exactly, I don't know what he's talking about. Even when, when you are talking, even, even an outside historian, he's talking about the story, history of Tinubu in 100 years or now, he's saying it's not an origin narrative. It's not an origin narrative. It's not an origin narrative. I and don't know. The yeah. problem is your generation, man. You guys are, you guys really mess oh. up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Mr. Okay. Mike, hold, sorry, hold on. Hold on. Okay. With this guy's last narrative, the last one you just talked about, uh, Romeo, this thing. I don't know where he got that story. He said, said Romeo was the king of all you know. Sorry, I'm not trying to laugh, but that one is politics. It did not happen. Like, you guys are forgetting. At one time, Oduduwa, Romeo, and Eweka was alive. Oduduwa's son, and his grandson, Tiro was alive. So how come he's not became how come he became king in uh, Ife? 
uh, in this uh, in Oyo. I don't know what this guy uh, said Oyo in the uh, hostel. He said. I what is where they get this story from? Even a penny man knows that Romania was not a king. Oh, no, 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 at the same time, Omega was the uh, ally of uh, of Oyo, while Ebeka was about to become the Oba of Benin. Oyo was still alive. So how come Oromia left somebody? People that follow Oromia back to to if uh, to if uh, when Oyo was being accepted, the form of Oyo following to Oyo's form Oyo. Who did he leave there? The Hello. fact is the Oyo that follow him. I'm no, down. No, 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 Oromia was alive at the same time, it's a grandson. Erika was alive at the same time, kill your dad. Oromika, yes, Oromika was alive. So what what happened is that during the while of Oromia, well, I mean, while Odudua was the king in Ileife, Oromia left Ileife and, and went to establish, uh, what do you call it, Oyo, uh, uh, Oyo Alafi. And that was the time that he gave birth to Shango, you understand what I'm saying? He, 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 he gave back to Joga, and after he's there, I mean, after he left, he lay fair. Uh, he, um, um, uh, uh, after he left, when he established uh, Oyo and Odudua died, he went to Ilei Fe. Very after good, Baba. Left, he went back, Very good. He went back to Ilei Fe, you know, and um, during the time, while he left, Oromia became king in your land, and he was, he was, uh, um, uh, um, sorry, uh, uh, no, when Oromia left your land, back to Ileife, Odudua, Odudua already died by then, then Oromia now uh, took over the throne of Ibe, while his son, um, Shango, became the king of your land. So that was all what happened. So, uh, the, the, the history is very clear, and who brought this history to us is Samuel Johnson. Is Samuel Johnson is the source of that point. history. So, Oromia was the king in the effect. Public, the politics, so, 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 so wait, Oromia was the only of the effect. How are you telling me? What are you saying? Oromia was the only of the effect. Huh? Or and Romeo Romeo was after he left, after he established Oyo, when Odudua died, he went to take over the throne. He was a king. Uh, let me not waste my time. Fair. Anyway, yeah, I'll just be all night with you guys. It's okay, Sha. Uh, yeah, look yeah, at you. Okay. You don't know your history. Yeah, teach, teach, teach it to your children. It's, it's, okay, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, no, I can't save you, Romano. You guys continue your propaganda rubbish. Eh? Yeah, Mike, 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 no, Mike, it's okay. Against everything. It's good they have the narrative, and this narrative I had is only for one side. To, to be what I know, from what I had, I've heard from both the Ife, Isoria, and the uh, it only uh, Romino that during his time, lifetime, at different time, was king of three kingdoms of Edo. I mean, what do you call it? Bini? What is we know as Bini kingdom today? The um, um, uh, um, uh, this Oba of Bini. He's the one that established that institution there. And he's the one that created the Oyo. And uh, he, he, as well, he became king in Ileife after Odudua. You guys should go and read your history. And when we are trying to tell you, you want to argue as if uh, one Brazil told you one nonsense that, oh, <laughs> you do not this thing. No, you uh, want to carry uh, that uh, one. No, Agar Jale Koko. 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 I don't know where you are. You are learning your history from a classroom or somewhere. You are learning your history from a reverend, from a pastor. And you are coming here. It doesn't matter. You are learning history from a pastor. Can you imagine? He is a Yoruba, a Yoruba man. Forget about it. You are a Yoruba man learning history from a pastor. And you are... You think I'm making a lot of sense? Eh, don't let me know. Don't know what you want to now. Imam, yeah. don't let you speak for me too. Baba, don't know what you want. Baba, Baba, Jale, Koko, I want to ask a question. 
Yes. Where was the burial site of Ohamim? Very good. He what died at the He was he died, he died at the king. He died there, at the and he was buried there. there. He was buried there. He now said because his heart was never far away from Oyo, that they should cut his fingernails and his hair, and they should go and bury it also in Oyo kingdom. When you don't, you don't read. I read so many books about your history because at a point, I even this man, Ologundudu, this Ologundudu, Thomas Kewi, OT share research. I have a lot of audios of him doing research with some professors from uh, 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 University of Ifeoyi on this matter. So the truth of the matter is, our history is Did the they, way. You know Jide, you know I don't think that is true from you. Uh, uh, you uh, have seen something. Uh, uh, Jide, Jide, uh, pick up my number in the private chat. I want you to do a session on uh, this particular topic. I've been asking Mike to do it for so long. He's not been able to. Uh, but I want to document some of these things. But uh, pick up my number. Uh, on, uh, uh, Mike doesn't okay. know. He doesn't know. Wait. Uh, that 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 wait. Uh, Jide, you know I don't buy to this history you're saying. Right. Oh man, let Ajali uh, go, go do it now. Let Ajali go, <laughs> go do it. The elder, you know. <laughs> with Mike, I beg. See, <laughs> uh, yes, we may agree that uh, 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 Romia was buried in Ife, that place they call Ife. But I've heard some social scholars say that Romia was the sixth only of Ife. The question now becomes who were the remaining four before him? If he uh, took no. after his father. Immediately, uh, no, then no, no, no. who was the four? Is not fifth. It's not fifth. Six. They said six. The six. Is not even fifth. What? He's what? Not what? The what? Fifth king. what? Not the no, fifth not the king. king. No king. No king. No king. Not the king. The only title. He said he was the sixth from the only title. Uh, uh, the two is the first with that only title. Now, who is the no, nine? No, no, no. Who let was me, the? Let, let me let 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 me tell you this. This only title that we have today was not what it used to be back then. Exactly. It was a different title they call it back then. They have changed it several times. They have called it Olufe. They have called it uh, um, um, uh, uh, Adimula. They, 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 and, and before they changed it to, uh, what do you call it, uh, this or it, they have, they have named it several titles before in the past. <laughs> so this or it was not what it used to be. It wasn't only the call Odudua back there when he was alive. It was a different title. They called What's, the 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 meaning of of it? What's the meaning of Arule What's the meaning of Arule? Tell us now. I'm Mike, learning from you now. You're the elder here. Mike, 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 I want to ask you a question. You can't tell me to back then now. Since you have the knowledge than me, tell me now. Mike, I want to ask a one question. Tell me now. What's the Arule of Odudua? What does it mean? For, but I, I, I'm not nah, you don't know. Okay, thank you. Thank you. you don't want to know. You don't, wait, you wait. Don't I got Jacob. I got Jacob. Take this straight question for me. Yeah, I agree with you. The, the name change at a certain time and a certain event, the name you're changing. But at which point, the, at which point and at which uh, dynasty started the only dynasty? I can't okay. say specifically. You I don't know. Cannot say specifically. Say specifically. Well, let, let me ask okay, you. Okay, let me tell you. Let me tell you from no. Mauritius side, everything side. It was Odudu that started the only dynasty. He started the no, no, record. No, 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 no. He's not from, he's not from Odudu at time, no. Baba no, Jalo, the world no, only no, title. They are telling you to start from Odudu dynasty. He has been king coming since. It has been changing. But the time he changed to only, that uh, oh, time okay. it changed, you know, to do our time. Uh, what is what is? Yeah. What is what is yeah. I can hear you. I can hear you. Let me ask. I just need to ask the problem. That is a it's a history argument. There's a whole thing. Oni is the grandson of Odudua. Um, I tell you, uh, Oromia is the grandson of Odudua. Oromia went to Ife, uh, went to York, and took territory and became king. When Odudua died. Oromio came back to come to Judah. What happened to his own father? How come? His father was the only child which makes it a very easy succession. 
Are you telling me that is or or complete died before you do How come it is Oromio or the seven? And from what I from history, Oromio is about the last song in history. And in your history, there is no way you have like six songs, and the last song will become this the first song to their grandfather, not even their own father. And the alpha is also still alive. Was also still alive. And it's if I bang you on it now. And it's if I bang you. No, you see, uh, um, uh, um, like woman. Man, yeah. If I if I will choose when there are options, when there's only one, the decision is already taken by only you marry. That there's oh, only oh, one oh, child. Oh yeah, for you now. Oh yeah, for you. No, no, no. You see, when only you marry gives you over one child, that means that guy. Has been chosen from heaven. That's what it means. In Benin, the first oh, one is the choice because it's believed that God has chosen that one from heaven. So there's no way Oromia could have been the only when his father or Kobi was still alive. So that's the whole that argument. Uh, wait, wait. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, okay, well, hold on. Did they, so, Patrick, how do you plug that hole? What's your, uh, what do you feel right now? The that only thing? possibility is that Okobi died before Ujujua. And there's no record that suggests that. No, they're true that all his older brother had died or advocated or offered to say, okay, take the title. You had Orobu, you had Alakit, all of them were older than Oromium. In short, so God that took over as allowed, he didn't take over the idea from Oromio. He took over from his elder brother. That was being no, no, what happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I agree. He took over from Ajaka. And the elder brother was not. He was a he was a weak, he was sad by all of them. Yes, he was sad because he's so not a strong. He took over man. from Ajaka. Okay. He's not a strong so, uh, personality. So they sack him, and then me, being a very a warrior, a strong guy, that so go me, me. The, king, the right. So okay. The only way I could plug that out is Okobi died before Ujujua, and there's no record that shows that. Okobi had died before Ujujua, then all this Orobi, Alake, Chibu, Onisha Bell, all of them died before. Uh, <laughs> Oga Patrick, Oga Patrick. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 My first children, their name Odua, and they will tell you the meaning of Odua. What is the meaning? Cannot tell what is the meaning of Odua? What is the meaning? Tell them the meaning of Odua. So that is a common name in Bini. Eh, that was the meaning. Now I'm trying to know. Yeah. Like, uh, like this thing. No, I'm working now. What is about it? Okay, yeah. what is the meaning? Uh, what is the meaning of see, oh, do I say oh, do I oh, do I uh, oh, do I means it means like center or the beginning of wealth of um, it means that it's like it, what basically is like the heart of something or do do or do the way of wealth. My uh, my son is the road uh, is the road I walk into work, I show the I pull the uh, the road of wealth, the uh, road of wealth, that's uh, what it means, right. In you know, it means so many, so many. But what does okay, what does Odu do, 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 do means? Odu means do mean? center, center, heart, center, middle, heart of everything. That thing that hold middle. Odu, Oduwa, uh, Oduwa. That the heart. You say you do an animal means give me the heart of that animal. Odu, Odu, Oduwa. That is center of wealth. My children, my cousins. I would have Oduwa, 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 and everything. So. Oh, do you revise where the secret is kept? You know, it's the same thing. That's a hard same thing. But now, that was my argument. My argument here, uh, I'm just so and GD. Now, like Patrick said, there something is missing, and we that into date we know, but we are telling you guys, you think like what to write history. No, uh, it, it does not cohere.
Because at the same time, Odudua, Oromiyo, and Eweka, his, that's Odudu, the father, the son, and the grandson, were alive at the same time, and three of them were king at the same time. That Odudu was the first to pass on. Hold on. Odudu was the first. Hold on. Sorry, please. You asked me. Odudu was the first to pass on. There was no way a king would drop his title and come and take a title in uh, in, uh, in 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 uh, Ife. Or he was bigger. There's no way. But I agree he was buried there. The title only started from Odudua's time. Now, you mm -hmm. say Oromiya uh, became the sixth uh, uh, only. Then who was this? Who was in the interval? Who was the other four people that took that stage at uh, 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 this thing? Did Oromiya okay. live for 300 years? Can so I it doesn't have yeah. answer the question? Very good. In Bini uh, history, where do you place Oromiya uh, in terms of kingship? Oromiya never number. took, listen, Oromiya came, yeah, but he never established any kingdom. He came as a king, but he was having battle with the Ugiamen. You see that like Ugiamen, you see this lineage, he was having battle with them. He only stayed six <laughs> months. He didn't want to step into Bini. Yeah, when the Ghibli, in the dynasty of the new kingdom, you don't know mm. come. when. When did he come? Yes. Sorry, I'll be ask one more time. Sorry. When exactly in the dating of the dynasties of the new kingdom, the mm. Oromia appear in the scene. When? First, now the the Oba dynasty, the Romia dynasty, where we uh, started from. When, when, when? You know, it's a uh, uh, twelfth century now. Twelve, what date? Twelve, twelve. I think twelve twenty-five or twelve twenty-five. Oh, no, the first is the first Oba. Let, 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 let me explain now. There was like a chief kingship um, 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 arrangement in the name. Before the new king, she sent the arrangement. Yes, yes. And, like and if you if, even if you go to the Bini Kingdom, your yeah, Bini website now, on uh, is as number two. So the person <laughs> that you, wait now, your website. Well, make this point. Yeah. Your website oh. says it. Your website says it. The person that was there before him was counted as a king. Now, Romeo was given number two. Okay? Now, if you look at that, that timing alone tells you that there's no way six kings will have reigned in Lefe before Romeo. Okay? So, did you let me respond? Sorry. Wait, yeah, wait, I don't, I don't wait, know what the book you wait, read, but no, I, I, I can wait. tell you. Let him learn. Also, let when learn. you respond, respond to what he say, not to him. Let me learn. Uh, so, because if you go to the issue that was written on that uh, Edo page, it says that Odudua was from Benin. Now, Odudua was a king, a, a, the, the son of a king, a, a, the third chief in Benin. And he committed something or he did something wrong and he was banished. So after he was banished, the king died and they came to him to call him to come and become king in uh, in Bini. But he said no. Then he now gave them, said Oromio should follow them as his grand grandson. Oromio now went. That was where he met the woman in a that gave back to the wake up for him. Okay. That is where you go. And when the place was, you know, the place was not um, uh, conducive for him, he out of anger he left Bini. And that's where they even some people say the name Bini comes from Ubini. Uh, it be it be not even Ubino or something like that. Like that, like that. But if you read your from that Edo page, Oromio was the second king. Uh, of the name, and that is why till today, even if they want to um, 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 install a king in the name or in the two of them don't do it in uh, 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 apart, they do it like together, like brothers, because they are said that the, the first son of the person that should have been king was came down to live. So when Oromio now left that place and came back to live because. Oromio was like a, a true, a warrior that goes to fight all the battles. So when he went to fight battles, 
before he came back, his grandfather died. Now his elder brothers, his brothers, they were sharing the thrones. In fact, um, what's his name? Olowu. Olowu, why they say Olowu is the son of... Uh, what of his own father? father? You have not answered that question. What of his own father? Uh, please, uh, Gide, let me respond to you. Let me correct something before we move on. I would like to move on. So, Okombi might have died, but Okombi might have died. But if I not did, might. no, 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 not might. Listen, listen, there are three, there are three um, strategic um, locations that are mentioned in Yoruba history. There's Koko, there's Ilefe, and there is Oyo, which was called Koyo before. You understand? So, these those three locations are very important. We don't. I, I have not even gone through Okombi, and I think from, from what you have asked me, I will go and research the history of Okombi on his own. I want to know what okay. happened. Jide, please, let me add this before you finish. You can add it up. First of all, let me correct that uh, story you were saying. Like what I was just asking at Jim Lukoko. Oromiya was not the second uh, Oba in Benin. Oromiya was supposed to start the Oba dynasty in Benin. There was already a dynasty before that was Ogiso dynasty, which, end, which ended in uh, uh, Ogodo, that is the father of uh, Ikaladera, which is now Zodua. That's why Ogodo has sent Oromiya to Benin to continue the Ogiso dynasty. But when he came, the Ogiame didn't allow him. There was war. He stayed in the girl. He married the Ogie girl. A daughter, her name, Ewe Made. He married Ewe Made. The way she died was six months old. Uh, six months pregnant was six months. When uh, Dudu went back, he left back. He didn't, move with, he didn't move stay for delivery of the child. Erika started the Oba dynasty. Now, if you add Romia, we, had, we had the 40th Oba. If you don't add Romia, we have 39 Obas. So please, that's uh, this thing that uh, there was a, a king before. No, when Odua left, there was a vacuum. Uh, the Ogame was administrator, which is a Vian, was administrating for that position before uh, they go after Odua. But then I thought Odua was very old. He said he cannot come back. He doesn't send his son. But uh, a Vian son wanted to take the power when his father was passing, passing away. That was the trouble in Benin. Then I said, you are not even royal blood. Don't talk of, uh, your father is not even royal blood. Don't talk of you. That was the problem Oromia was getting in Benin. So please add that to your destiny. Oromia did yeah, not yeah. meet any kingship in Benin. You are making a big mistake. What I'm saying is the Ogisho dynasty did, was did campaign. What is telling you the fourth. Did they, what, uh, uh, what peace is telling you is that uh, the king there in Benin today is a descendant of uh, Oromia. Um, yes, I, 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 I'm not doubting that. What I'm saying is that the Ogisho dynasty. The, uh, the, uh, um, Jide, the, it, 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 is is it your contention that uh, the um the Yorubas founded Benin? Who founded whom? Start from there. Yes, man. From you know, if it depends on who is saying, who is telling the story, and that's the problem with this thing. If the Yorubas tell the story, they said tell it a different way, and if the Edo tell the story, but I want to go through his own story now. You understand the story from his own side. There was an Ogicho dynasty. Then after that, Oromio came, meaning that Oromio would have been the second dynasty of kings. Okay? But because he did not stay, he was there ruling. He was ruling, but he did not stay because of the problem he was encountering. Then he left. So what I'm trying to say is that between Ogisho and the next dynasty, was, there was no king. It was just Oromiyo, Ogisho, and Oromiyo. Odudua left the vacuum that made Oromiyo come into play because Odudua said he was already old and he cannot come back to become a king. The rather, he will give them one of his grandsons that is very, very a, a warrior. And he gave them Oromiyo to go and rule over them. But when he got there, he started having problems and he left out of anger again. So what I'm trying to tell him is his narrative of there were six kings in Ileife between Odudua and Oromeo does not add up. That's what I'm pointing out to him. It doesn't add up. Uh, let me, let, uh, like Babadan uh, uh, said, Oromeo was a king of three kingdoms at the same time. Yeah, Gide and uh, all these um, uh, 
uh, story from beneath that uh, Aromenia is from them. I, I don't know where they get this from. Uh, in Yoruba history, even told us, in Leife history, particularly, told us Odudua was born in Leife. His father was a king in, a, in a Leife. And there is an Odudua father, the father that make reference. Oh, oh, so, sorry, what was his father's name? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What, what piece? You have to let. You don't have to go okay. to the beginning. So, yeah, just let him land. Yeah, yeah. Go, go on, Baba Ajane Koko. Yes. He, 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 um, he, his father was a king. And Odudua was a warrior. Odudua went on an assignment outside Odudu, outside the um, Ileife with his uh, warrior. Because back then, they can travel to maybe to Mali or uh, to all these things. To you Bahamari. mean, or you mean, uh, uh, I'm talking, not no, I'm talking about, I'm talking about the doer now. So, on uh, the, the, there was a time he went on a mission, and when he was coming back with his uh, troop, before he entered Ileife. He got the news that because his father was the king as at the time that he went on that mission, and when he was coming back with his boys, he before entering the labor, he got the news that his father, his father has been killed by there's another king there in the labor as at that time. And that king was the one that sat his father and killed his father. So what he did was to wage war against Ife to sack that king. And the history is there. The king that was there then was Obama King or Sondogon. Is the one he he their their um their um. I mean, yeah, Obama was sacked by, um, um, what do you call it? Um, Odudua. He entered the Leife, he waged war to start that, the, to install himself as the king. And the family, or let me say, they are the, um, the um, what do you call the people from? Yeah, the, the royal home back then that was sacked are the ones that went to establish the Igbo in the larger area in you know, those state today. They sacked them and they all with all their family, everybody left to go and establish this um, uh, Olubo of Igbo. You, you understand what I'm saying? So this history of the uh, 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 people that uh, oh, God, okay, uh, I got that because it's time for me to come in now. You finish your point. You are run away from one prison. Uh, uh, okay, uh, okay. So, let me let me come in. Let, let me come. Let, let me let me land now. And even the creator okay. of your of your museum in Benin wrote a book to that effect. I mean, he's the one that oh. have the artifact. He's what the piece? I will come in after you. Oh, it mm -hmm. has everything. Okay. He brought a book to that effect. I don't know why some of you are coming with this uh, story, because what you guys try to portray all the time is not history, but a story, because you okay. have, uh, you don't want to surrender to uh, uh, Yoruba people. Uh, uh, Yoruba uh, people. Uh, you finish your story, like you are going to have assassination, and you are going to attack out assassination. Leave now, let's talk with uh, no, Fats. First, of, let's, first of all, I mean, yes, I got your, I got your narration. Send down there, not it today. You have to find that. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yes, uh, and let's let's go with your narration. Not my narration. Let's go to your narration now. First of all, I ask you, who's Aramia's? Uh, uh, who was the uh, Dudua's father? You couldn't tell me which of the court it came from. That which of the family court lineage from Ife it came from. You couldn't uh, tell me. Lakuri, okay, okay, Lakuri okay, was the father of Odua. Lakuri. <laughs> that point does not, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, now, hold on. Oh, oh, hold on. Can come up. 
Hold on now. Hold on now, please. Uh, uh, you, you cannot change history of 2,000 years. Now you start changing it. According to... Hold the Dua is the 97 king. Oh, oh hold on. That's what I'm, that, that is the part I'm coming to. That, 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 is the, that, is the part, that is the part I'm coming for. That is the part I'm coming yes. to. Hold on now, please. Hold on. Please, hold on. According to your oral history, you are in a book, you are certified. There was 97 king before Odudua. They didn't say there was 97 king before Odudua's father. Whatever you say his name is. And the Odudua started or, uh, only dynasty. Point blank. Odudua started the Obatalas, who are today the Ubo people. Point blank. And that is war, whatever that happened. I don't know exactly, but he was the one that took to stop that, uh, that uh, lineage, that dynasty. Now, Odudowa was appointed by Oracle. Always, the Oracle already told them, you'll be telling the, uh, they, they have distinct communities and they have a shrine. They have a way of doing things like to today, they have shrine and another Oracle. Or, I'm not saying Zifa, but they have the Oracle. Oracle has been telling them a man will come. Wait, wait, what's the name of the Oracle? Take, no, I don't say, I don't say the Oracle. Yeah, that can, if I, to me, if I started from Odudowa lineage, Ah. If I, I said to me, listen, I'm not arguing with you. We're not arguing. I said to me, please listen now. No, me, I'm not but getting the guys' history story. Me, I don't care about all this history. Yeah, when so, it comes to the spiritual so, part so, of the knowledge, you I guys don't say that from that For me, I'm saying if I did this stuff, started from a judo I'm not saying that's where you still start. Ah. Hold you, on, you, now. hold on, hold on, hold on, please, now. please hold on. You was only doing that creator if I know. Hold on, 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 please, now, please, let me finish my history. Yeah, it, it no, is, you, uh, just saying talk history, but leave the part of it, please. Uh, okay, okay. You guys can yeah, argue yeah, okay. or whose father is whose father. Mike, 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 why I'm using uh, <laughs> yeah, why I'm using the de de deity? I don't want to use particular deity because every deity had when it started. Now, they are mm -hmm. whatever they are practicing that they are always telling them, and that's your back culture. You go and look at your back culture before all, all need time. The way they choose their successor is they are uh, uh, if they are, they are they will tell them. Yes, somebody will come or go to social place. The first person you see picking that will be your next successor. That was the practice then. The uh, the uh, the data don't be telling that a man will come that will take them to victory or greatness. Actually, when they found Dudu, it was what the uh, the Oracle was uh, uh, describing to them. That's how Dudu started. Dudu started the only dynasty, and that dynasty started from father to son. As I see, Romia coming to Benin, Romia going to Oyo, his children today is taking that line of in Benin. The people before Odua, the Obatawa people that, like the seven before Odua, they don't have the social, uh, the social, uh, this thing, uh, 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 culture. Now, you come to tell, you, to tell me that Odua's father was a king, a king that with, with no name, with no dynasty, with what era? Now, you said uh, 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 his father is one name, you call, you call only one, one name. Now, who was the father? Who was the whose father and whose mother? In every issue, there's a mother's side to the father's side. Every king that lives, he has a wife, he has a father, he has a mother. The two committees are, are still existing. The character that we talk today, the father committee still existing, the mother committee still existing. Now, the question everybody asks you, there was a 16 committee before the Duwa came, and the 16 committee are still there. And no one, none of them, has set the Duwa as their own. As well, they come, come from there. Oh no! no he didn't come for the sixteen community that was there before the Dua in Israel. So where did his father? Not who the Dua now. Where did his father come from? And who gave birth to his father? Who did his mother marry from? Which community is mother married from that gave birth to the Dua? So all this is, does not add up. See, hold on, please. All this is, does not add up. I'm not here to argue with you. Um, Dua is a Benin man, it's not Yoruba man. But that history, that story, you are saying I thought the father was a king. I was fighting in somewhere. That is a fallacy story because it does not add up. The okay. Obatala was the last. Oh, no, okay. first, uh, sorry, sorry. How do I start only dynasty? So you are able to are you able to change it now that his father started only dynasty? How do I the first only of this? Eh? So what are you not talking about? There's no issue that they killed. There's no issue that they killed last father. Where's his tree? Where's the father they killed? Okay, can yeah, thank you. Call me, Patrick. Patrick. Oh, that's what yeah, they yeah, call yeah, me. Yeah. Patrick. Okay. Now I want to ask you a question. You see, uh, that my first question now. What happened to his father and how come he became the first? But before that, let me just prove a little bit. According to oral tradition in Yoruba land, Odudua came from heaven with chain. And the the ori when they make Oriki Odudua say Odua Afel Afa Wong Rock, 
I want. That's the chain was what he used to land, just like Spider-Man from heaven. That's the Yoruba tradition. And what oh, you do, no, I no. start. Story, yeah, that now. one is story. That's, that's that one the, is story. It's I'll not give you. I'll, hold <laughs> on now. Hold on now. Let that me one. finish. That one is let one. me give oh, you. Hold on. Let, <laughs> him, let him learn. Let him learn. Let me yeah. So yeah. that is the that's the common story. Even when they make it, it's not from. It's not that way now. Historical. Let me. Historical. Hold on now. Hold on. I just let you go. You told people to hold on. You see, the Yoruba people initially they didn't write down their history, but the way they preserve history, the historians in Yoruba were the Anyon. If you want to know your lineage, the Anyon, they memorize the lineage of people because they beat drums to it and they yes, use it to the talk about. Anyon. Yeah, they, those were the original historians in Yoruba land. You understand? And based on the Anyon, when they want to. Talk about Odua, they talk about him as somebody that used chain to come down from heaven. You understand? And then the Ifa also came around to talk about the history of Yubala. Let me tell you first, first, first thing. Orumila was one that created Ifa. That's why they call him Orumila Baba Ifa. And Orumila is from Mekiti State, it's not even from Mise. If you find out, Orumila. His town is from Ekiti. It's not from Ife. And Orumila and Co preceded people like Ojibua. And where you would really find the history of Yoruba is with the Anya and with the Ifa people. Because it's in their old view. You see, the history of the Jews is in their Old Testament and the tabloid. That's their own old view. The history of the Yoruba people is in the old view of Ifa. The but, old but, but, will tell but, you about let wait, me, now. Let, let me, me I'll tell you this. No, no, you will the old let me correct one thing you just said now. Orumila is not from Ekiti. Orumila is from Orumila is from Ogo. Oh, okay. Ogo is very close. Okay, from Ogo. Okay. But it's not from Ife. The Ekiti people accepted. Are people closer to Bini? Yes, they, yes. Orumila is from Ogo. So, the Ekiti people accepted that, you know, Orumila spiritual, you know, um, worshipping more than any other part of Yoruba land. Baba Janli Koko. Yeah. So, let us now, continue. You are 100% correct. It is Ogun that is from Ekiti. Orumila is from Ogun. Go, go, go. Well, all this now stay close to Benin. These are closer to Benin well, than the East Coast. Patrick Carrion, so that we don't break that stride. Uh, Patrick oh, Carrion. My, my idea is that the Odu, Ifa, is uh, just like we want to know about the Jew, read the Old Testament. If you really want to know about the history of the Yoruba, in a very preserved and sacred manner, because the Odu Ifa is the only sacred book or story that is not really being adulterated. You understand? Because Exactly, the and they and they protect it. Exactly. So to get something like Doing the secret self. All, yeah, all the all the or all the Allah will tell you the same thing about those who do. If they want to research chapter one of it, they will recite it the same way wherever they are. Exactly. In Asia or your so this story will be the same. But it's let, let me say one thing real quick. Sorry, before you continue, to have your point, Mike. Let, let him. No, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm not, I'm not interjecting him. I'm not interjecting him. One man. I'm just saying I've traveled across Yoruba land, and it's the same thing. That's what I wanted to say. Go on, continue. Yeah, that's what the. That's what the. So, go on. That's what the. Mike, I want him to follow through. Yeah, carry on. The far people will say the same thing wherever they are, whether catch you in the Republic or wherever, wherever you are, they will tell you the same thing. But the historians will tell you the story from their perspective. The Benin historian will tell you Odua is from Benin. The Oromeo people will tell you Oromeo was the one that took over from Odua as the only officer. What happened to his father and his older brothers? They, they will tell you, you know, that. So that is inconsistency stories. The only one that has been preserved and even has a longer history that is close to, close to reality because the older the story, the more likely authentic it is. The old, the more or the closer the documentation of the history to the events, maybe something that happened in 1960, the person that wrote it wrote about it in 1961, 
that account is more likely to be true than somebody who wrote about it in 2020 because there are probably eyewitnesses that were there so that's the sacredness of it so left to me i'm, I'm not an ifa person i don't but that's the objective if okay. far, people are likely to have a more sacred issue of a yoruba man than a reverend that was born thousands of years after no no Can no, no, no. That's, that's that's and let me Sorry, 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 sorry. Before you move on, before you on, I just asked him, JJ and Daluko, do you know? Sorry, if I got Patrick, do you know Patrick Lineage is one of the people that is called Romeo to Bini? They are, they are, they are, they are, they are practicing everything, is still worth preserving Bini. But you just give no story about Romeo's father, mm -hmm. uh, Edodua father, that we do not have a lineage. He was a king in, uh, in what dynasty? Who was his father? Oh, oh, Where did he live? Hold on. What is his okay. father? Bye -bye, what is his I have answered to that question okay, okay. because okay. Yeah. 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 now yeah. this is what happened. Odudua was king of at Ilife when there was um tumor in Benin. He sent his son, uh, his grandson, Oromeo, to go there and then uh, you know, um, calm everything when the when the the elders came to beg him to come back and become king. He said no. Then he sent Oromio because Oromio was a warrior. When Oromio left, before Oromio came back to Elysium, his father, Okombi, went blind. Odudua was dead. Okombi was now the one instead of his father but he was blind so because of his blindness he could not you know um, do the normal um, rights because in yoruba land anybody that has blemish cannot be king so his priest owa ajibogun became like a regent and that owa said he, he was looking for a way to cure or can be he was looking for ways to cure him in fact he had to go and to the sea as far as the seashore because they needed water from the seashore to do some things to cure him when he left to get that water was when Oromio returned back to Elefe and when Oromio returned back to Elefe due to his prowess and this thing Immediately, Owa Adibugu came back. He had to hand over everything to Oromeo, meaning that Oromeo was king while his father was alive. And that is your answer to your question. Okobi was struck with... No, 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 sorry. That's not the question I ask you. I'm not... No, that no, 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 I said, who's Uduzo? Dodua's father. Dodua's father. No, no, you were not asking me that question. You were asking... That's what I asked no okay, sorry, yeah, exactly. okay, sorry yeah but who was the Dudua's father wait somebody asked me what happened to okombi how come okay. oromino became king now i have gone to get that fact and i'm telling you now in yoruba land you cannot become king if you have any blemish on your body so immediately he was struck with blindness he was no longer qualified to be king. And that was what happened to a combi. So that is how why was, he, why was he not made king when the Owa brought the water and his eye was opened and then she had to make his own king. Okay. Okay. This is not the adult. Wait. The Owa of Obo went to take water from Oki so that he can cure blindness and he was cured. So why did he become king? Listen, before Owa of Oboko brought the water oromio had already taken over government okay and they could in yoruba land there can be you cannot have two kings you cannot you have get this story now is it Wait, from no, listen, listen this you one you're not telling us now where did you get Wait, this story now you see let me let me explain something to you you cannot have two kings if you, you listen, know you can't have two kings now, so you are not doing something. Wait, that you don't wait, know. Just wait, let me land my point. If you have read the history of the Olu, you know in Missouri they will say Olu was so badi. 
well, how did he get his ID? Ade is a bay that is with him. He was the son of a daughter. He came to meet um, he, 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 the, the daughter brought the grandson to greet his father, which uh, her father, which is uh, Odudua. And Odudua had a day uh, the crown on his head. But the boy was crying profusely and was saying that he wanted to have the father's cap, the grandfather's cap. They gave him the grandfather's cap just to appease him. Now, he took it home and slept. The mother brought the cap, the hat, after he had slept. And the uh, uh, old one responded by saying, that is, that is his own entitlement, that that is his own inheritance, that the two kings, two kings alive can not wear the same crown. I don't know what your argument happened. now. Your argument now, Ono is not even the first son of Odua, and that's against the what of the woman now. History. No, they this said the old by your bad history. Most historians said Ono is the first son, and that's why they say Ogula Koja, who was the first to be born. That's why they called he, it Ogula Koja. He was the Listen, he was the son of. A woman that argument is not that i said where did you get it most arguments say that Ogu in is the first son of a company in the origin and they say Olu was to come by the normal but that does not uh, but they call they say Ogu Lakoda do you know that eh Ogu Lakoda you see the 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 issue is this Ogu Lakoda obey don't wear very good Ogu is most historians that tell you about the history of Olu of uh, uh, the most historian that tell you the history of Yoruba, they say the first son of Okobi is Olowo of Owu. Uh, Ajani Oko, please confirm this. I know you, you have at least to be very objective. Uh, uh, Pat Patrick, what did you say? Patrick o? I said Olowo is the first son of Okobi, and that's the generally accepted record history by most Yoruba. Olowo is the first son of Okobi, not the first son of the daughter. Olowo. Yeah. Olowo is the first son of Okobi. According, according to... Adine, you have to speak up a bit. Okay. Olowo was the first person to get his inheritance from uh, Odudua. Because Odudua was still alive when Olowo had already collected his own ID. Yes, Where did it. you get this history from? Oh my God! Yeah, but it's already giving you, you the answer to what you asked now. Uh, 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 one man, this is uh, one man. This is not one man. This is not said like that. We we that have interest in history, you don't just bring up something and just say this is like pyramid. It's there. Okay, when Patrick yeah, asks yeah, you, where did yeah, you get this from? You okay, have to make reference to where you got it from. Is it book? Let's go. Who wrote the book? Who is the person? Let's let's let me let me ask let me ask you a question. If they want to. And if they want to enthrone a king in Benin today, you don't uh, come to Ilefe. Do they come to where? You they come to Ilefe. No. You, you must sure. be joking. You are sure. <laughs> are you, you, guys are even know. you guys, that you guys even know. It is the only that crowns the oba of Benin now. Who told you so? Who <laughs> told you so? <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, this is a very tight. Oh, oh, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold, hold, on, on. Hold, hold, on. Hold, hold on now. We saw it at the Shola, the, the, even the, the last um, Olu of Wadi. Was it not the only that? Do you want me to bring the clip? What, oh, what are you talking about? They're graduating for Canada Loud, one man. One man, they're graduating for Canada Loud. They're trolling you up, they're trolling you, trolling you. No, what, 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 what are you saying, one man? He's trolling you. Area, right? I invest my time and money for. What are you saying, one man? What this is trolling you, man. You don't even get it. I know, I don't want you to know. This is history. Let's, we are let's educating people. I just told you. I know, I know. Patrick, hold on. The Patrick family is Ojo. Ojo from 800 century, 800 years ago. They are still in Benin. See, when they can just give me stories, we'll just be laughing. Where the facts are there. Now, there's something like Okumbi. There can never be two kings in one domain. I do the story. That uh, only came. Uh, first of all, I told you at one time, Odudua, uh, Oromia, and Oweka were king at the same time. Three of them were alive. Now, when Romia passed away, 
you message they send the message to Romia, they send the message to Bini. You know why they send message to Bini? Because your shadow will never tell you that. Because when they send the message to Romia, Romia did not live or your yours is already bigger than if says. A king will not leave his stuff and go to another smaller enemy to come and be a king. But I will agree he was buried there. They send message to Benin. America cannot leave Benin. That's why they that's why to today the only position was a chief prince that was looking after the place. King Isidia will return back. I don't know where you put a story, you put you are saying that uh, this is I can be this and this I can be that. Since Ozu has died, he has been a chief priest that is representing that throne, that position. Not even Ozu was children. What is bloodline represents that uh, position? So all this uh, story of Akambe is coming here. Akambe, I don't know you. you guys what is from? Hold on, please what hold on, hold on. Let me see your this one. Uh, first of all, I asked uh, uh, Adel Koko, "Where's who was this father?" You cannot give me an answer. That is settled. Because all else. Now you now you are saying Akambe was the son of uh, uh, of Oduduwa. Uh, I never in history, international history now. Where I started history from uh, Ava, Nigeria history and all that. Oromia is the name you see in the Dudua children. Oromia, there's nothing like I can be there. Oromia is a bit of your, clearly. Oromia came to Bini, clearly. You don't even see the history that when Oromia went back to, uh, to Ife, it's not there. Now because you Oromia is not, like you is not aligned to stay Ife. The form of banishment, which is not, which, which, what is not a favor for Oromia, or the Dudua is not aligned to come back and stay. He now moved to find his stuff, or your. So which story people was just giving I can be was this, I can be was that, I can be was this. Oh, and yeah. it's a section, like I told you, it's a section of Office. uh kingship. You know, is that of Bini? Hello? Can I ask you something? Can I say something real quick? Uh you see, what is you know me? Me, I don't get into history, this and that and that and that and that, who's what and what I don't care. The only part where I may participate is the spiritual parts of the knowledge. As far as this day, this guy went here. I want to play with this. I don't get into other people, you know. Now, my only question to you is this: uh, in... so, Sorry, my mic, my mic, my, my, my mic dropped. I you know. Yeah, but can dropped. you hear me? Yeah? I can hear you now. Oh, okay, sorry. Okay, so my only the only thing I want to find out is uh, the the Faraku. The Faraku mm. is is all over the is in Benin today. Is in Europe now today. So my only question is, uh, and also the Orishas in Europe now also like Shongu. The practice, the Shongu is in Benin today. It's part of your deities. Osho is there. Ifa is there. So how did the Ifa Raku end up in Benin? You know. Yeah. Well, uh, my well, that that was was it during conquest when we went to conquer no. them. No, no. Uh, if I is only so what you would know, or if I is only practicing in Benin, as far as you say Luku, as about the practice if too. So if I is not what you take and say, oh, uh, it started from uh, it started from uh, Benin or it started from Ife, like I said, and like mm -hmm. you said, Mike, you said it started hold on, uh, like you said, it started from uh, uh, Mary. You guys were practicing it. No, no, make, no. Hold on, uh, hold on, oh. Mike. You guys were practicing it. Doesn't make mean that other people are not practicing it on their own top in their own way too. The way you practice it far from your side is different from where you way me being it practicing my own far. So you where don't understand this. Practice, where do you get those practicing it far? Listen, listen. Yes. Uh, 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 Kaladera really? was very good in Yes, why do you think they punished uh, Kaladera? Because of, because of, it was very good in Ifa and all so that. So Ifa came that from Benin to Yoruba land, that's what you're telling us. Listen, I'm not saying Ifa came from Benin to Yoruba land. This is what I'm saying, telling you. Ifa was practiced practice as a general deity, just like most of Muslim. Up to some part of southeast, I, I gave you not southeast, sorry, some part of the now data. It's only people practice if I uh, Romila. Uh, Romila. Uh, what now? Is, you can what, talk about I, 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 wish, I, wish, I wish Kulata was here. He has the accurate history of all of these things. That he I does, think does, 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 does not have any accurate uh, anything. It takes what from Google. Is, what and, is, let uh, me tell you one thing. You see, uh, my family is an Ifa family in, in, in Edo. My own father. No, let me tell you the truth. My, I saw my own father. I grew up to see my own father use Okwele. Mm. I have cousins, yes. educated cousins. They have Okwele, they have briefcases. They want to go somewhere, they bring it out, put it on their table, and do their ifa. My auntie, my father became a Christian and eventually converted everybody. We had ifa, and my brother told me my father would do ifa, then do ugu, uh, and then he would worship his, his own father ancestor. He will kill chicken or goat for his father and then he will pray to his father. That was my father's... So you could see that he was purely a traditional person. 
and my cousins did practice it fast. So it sounds like a religion that is spread, you know. The, you can say it started from somewhere. If it starts from somewhere, maybe the, the worshippers have traveled to other places, just like Muslim Christians travel to places and go there with their religion. But thank you. My Oga, family is Oga the Patrick. proof that Oga, 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 is practiced in Oga, 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 because Oga, Oga, my cousin to some of them still practice it. Please, please, can I say something about what you're saying? Okay. Yeah. If, uh, no, hold on. Yeah, wait, wait. What piece? How did the Romila end up in the beginning? No, my mind. Let, 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 let me go. Let me go. I go never said about any Bini. It's the tradition that we were right from day one with the Bini from a good, a good, a good, a good, a good, a good time. Now, next yeah. said, the way we practice our our, 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 our own is slightly different from the way you guys practice yours. And you go to say, look, the way they practice their own is slightly different from the way we practice our own. So you cannot say, I cannot say, I cannot say, this person started in Bini or started in Isa. But you guys practice, yeah. practice it. Maybe you guys know the way you all started. And we have yeah. our own, the way we start that is our own. But somebody cannot say when Oromia came to Benin, that would they brought the practice. Probably if who came came long before now, or who came after Romania. So, but you cannot possibly say that it's Romania that brought it. No, Romania according to Benin priest, mm hold -hmm. no, no, no. Um, according to Benin priest, your own priest, your Baba Lao was there. You know, they say when Oromia was coming to Benin, he came with two priests. Mike, no, please. Let me, let me, let me, let me a lot of priests. A lot of me have brought a lot of priests to be in. Mike, let so me support you. Let me support you. Let me pick it up. What piece? See, if I is practiced in Ghana, it is called Afa. If I is practiced in Igbo land, it is called a Jofo. Okay? If I is practiced in almost uh, all these coastal line countries, okay? Uh, and the one in Ghana stated that the, the Ifa was brought to them from Nigeria, from Ilife. Yeah. There's no denying that. That's yeah, where people, even the Benin Republic, they are, everybody says it's from everything is from Ilife. It's from I do people that will tell me it's from Ugi. The Edo people, <laughs> the Edo people, when Oromeo was going to Edo. Well, uh, 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 when you land, um, um, uh, sorry, finish what you're saying, uh, Jide, but when you land, I also want to do just in a little summary, uh, just give your perspective on why the Edo's, why they are refusing to subordinate themselves to the Yorubas. I don't know why they are refusing to subordinate themselves, but I carry on. Mm -hmm. Very good, Omar. So now, um, the Yorubas had they, they had uh, contact with the Igbos at one point in time in their history. If you remember the story of Morimi very well, Morimi had direct contact with the Igbos. Okay? Now, the influence of the Yoruba culture... The, yeah. Not the Igbo. Those people that had contact with were the Igbo, you know, those people to confuse them. So no, let me just quickly correct that. The Igbo, the people know that they were this man, uh, Obat became king. They are, they are, it's, that place is called Igbo. It's different from the Igbo people. Yeah, it's not saying that. It's also saying more they also have contact with the. Uh, uh, more have contact with Igbo. You see, when, when, when we have these interjections, then we go off on a different tangent. And then by the time we get back to what he's saying, we've lost the flow of it. So how can we now correct the, the error? Can we? Can, like can, that? I continue now? can I continue? But, so but do, you, do you take, do you take, um, you can continue if you don't, truthfully, if you no, don't do no, that error. One man, one man, you see, when we, when we say our history as if we, we live in isolation, Shongo, Shongo was a king in Oyo, he had full and his lips. Did he not have contact with the Fulanis? How will he have His Fulanis? mother was Takman now. His mother, oh. Shongo's mother was a Takman oh, woman. Okay. Now you are coming and back, back to yeah. No, no so what I'm saying is became Mama Diora in Igbo land. Don't oh, you know that's true? Yeah. More than me, issue is with the Igbo. You saw more than me went to marry the Igbo. Oh, so that they can conquer the we Igbo. know that, but that's not the one he's talking about. He's, he's not, not talking about that one. Yeah. There's no record of Igbo Southeast. Wait, the, the, the uh, um, 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 uh, Patrick, let him, let, let him let him tell that tale. Then, when it gets to the end of it, you can debunk it. Uh, uh, did they carry on? Okay, um, one man, 
when Oromia was going to Ilefe, and when he was going to Benin, he went with his priests. See, it is a culture of the Yorubas. In those days, any warrior has his own priest. In fact, top, top um, chiefs have their own priest. Kings have multiple priests. So they move with their priest because it is a way of knowing what to do on a daily basis, they consult if I to know what to do, in, to do that day, how to go about the day. So the Ifa influence got to be named through Omeo. There's no denying it. Daome, the Daome people said that it was brought to them from Ilefe. A woman brought Ifa to them from Ilefe. And that it was a time when they were having drought and they were having serious problems. That woman through the Ifa resolved the problem for them. And that's why they have adopted Ifa. So Ifa, headquarters of Ifa is Ilefe. One more please. Let me interject. Sorry, no, sorry. No, no, sorry. No, please don't. Let him just carry on. And there is no denying that. Okay. So now, um, what we said something that Eweka. Omeo and the uh, Odudua were kings at the same time. My question is, how was that so? Odudua sent a son to that place to rule over them. That means that zone must have been subject to Ilefe at one point in time. And that is why, you know, when I sent you something just now, that even in time past, it's just now that you know when we are when all this supremacy stuff is what is making them forget the culture. In time past, if we are going to install a king in a do they visit their chiefs who first visit a particular shrine in the lake. And they believe that that is the burial uh, uh, place of Odidua to seek for blessing for the new king. It is a custom. So now that um, uh, what peace is trying to tell us another version of the story is what I, 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 am, I am asking. Eweka became a king in Benin after Oromiyo left. Oromiyo left, became a king in Oyo, and, and, and uh, went to Ilefe. His father was blind, became, stood, stayed there for a while, then went to Oyo came back to Ilefe and died in Ilefe. Okay? And that is the story. So how, if, if I go to Benin, is a question. In fact, even the bronze, the bronze carving, the bronze carving, I don't know if you know that they have found bronze, bronze, um, all these bronze heads in Ilefe that are even older than that of Benin. We, we hold that's, that not the, that's not the point we're talking about. This is history. I, I thought yeah, you were a very good historian. We're trying to bring what it's a This is not the history we're talking about. Wait, I'm trying to tell you that at one point, the Benin were subject to a living. Okay, I've, I've heard you. Please, Roman, let me just ask this guy one simple question. Simple question. You are very sure that uh, Romia, we, we are not disputing that Romia came to Benin. And you said you brought Ifa and you came with people. At least, can you just name four of the family line that came with him to Benin? Well, what do you mean? He didn't Benin. come with family now. Uh -uh. As a family line, people are different. People that have come with him, they have family line now. The chief priests that come with him, that came with him, that brought you here. Yeah. Which family line did he come from in Ife? What was his name? The family line of the priest. What kind yeah. of priest? Okay, okay now thank, thank you, thank you. Hold on, hold on, hold on now. Because you put up you put your talk history from from no, where no, how they tell you. Me. Don't be doing you you people, just give us okay, a sorry, 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 so sorry, sorry. I'll give you a part. I'm not okay. do you think I speak? I I, I talk it like you the way we are the family you are here. Yeah, we yes now. Oh Joe is there, that's Patrick family one. Who say where they put uh where Oba uh, Usain is is the guy that carried the pot of Usain a lot of a lot of Usain the pot is in Usain two Olo two three uh, as uh 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 um Oswan four 
you want me to continue? Are you both solar? Hold on, 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 I came to Benin was a warrior. You guys can't even give the general's name that lead the squad. You can't, you cannot give the name. But all you talk about is Oromia. You can't talk about the people that came with him. He came with uh, Araco men. He came with fishermen. He came with doctors. You don't cannot say anything about apart from Oromia. And that's just a write up history. History is facts and political proving. Let, 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 let me ask you. Let me ask you. Accuracy. You need to you know this case is more accurate. Ah. Let me give them one thing about history. You see, for example, look at the history of the Jews. When history, when they want to start any book by the Jews, they will say Abraham was the father of Isaac, Isaac was the father of Jacob. They, they will name the knowledge until that person, and then they will tell you he left maybe Hebron to to do that. And it became G. They will give you locations, people that went with him. Moab was in his company. That is how you put history. This is your It's a bit funny. But if you want to clear your advice, you go to Odrifa. I don't know why you are not reading. I'm a Christian. I'm not going to read it. I don't just understand. Everywhere around me is followed. We don't want two voices at the time. Yeah. Let okay. Patrick and, and then, yeah. Carry on. Okay, Patrick, continue. No, I'm done. Uh, okay, you see, everywhere. Oh, did they hold on? Hold on, no, no. You'll be speaking, and will I allow you to talk? And I've asked two quick Let questions. Let me ask you a question. What piece? Oh, 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 hold on, I got that Coco. Hold on, please. You ask me. After this, you ask me. I've asked you two guys a critical question about all the Dewar's father and Ormia too. You two cannot answer it down to just come up and say things that does not add up. I can come up and say anything, anything up anything to just to make an end point but doesn't make sense you will not add up you you create a vacuum first of all let's make this things clear when Ibrahimudo was existing Ife was existing not only Ife the Ida people was existing we call Ibira people today Kogi states they were existing too now the co the connection between Ife and Benin is the throne not the people we keep telling you people all the time is the throne the throne are related yes no no dispute about that but not the people, you, the people are there. Right. You are right on ah. that. Yes, you are what right. What right this, 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 that? You, you are right on that. But you know, uh, let me, question. Let me, first of all, first of all, let me reply. Um, Patrick was making reference to Bible. Who was the who was the father of Abraham? Did they mention the name in the Bible? Did Abraham not have father? They have this they mentioned his father was Tera. Tera. Leave that one. His father's name was Tera. Okay, who is the father of Tera? Tera. Tera has the father. I forgot his no, name no. now. They no, mentioned the it. Father, the father of that one. Of Aaron. Uh-huh. They mentioned his father now. I don't have the name, but I know his great grandfather was Levi. Levi. What of what of the father? Of the father, Jacob was the father of Levi. No, 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 no. Hold on. Abraham, right? Abraham was the father of Isaac. Isaac, the father of Jacob. The father. Jacob, now, the father Patrick, of Patrick, do you not get the wider point that I don't look The father okay. of Abraham. Terah, Terah, Terah was his father. Terah, and that one, they mentioned the name of that one. This is that they one. They mentioned the name of his father too. Okay, and the name of that one, father, they mentioned it. Yes, they mentioned it. They mentioned it down to Abraham. First. The generation from the fourth generation of the great 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 grandfather of Abraham. Yes, mention it in the fourth generation. They mentioned they they mention their name. They mention it to yes. They mention everything. Yes. Where, where, yes. Where, is that, where is that mention? Go is in Matthew chapter one. Is in Luke chapter one. How, and how, Luke chapter how, two. No. You see how is how is all that whole testament got to do with uh, new okay, testament? Okay, let me. Is let me give you, you, you hold on hold on now let me give you the record let me give you the record you see eh, 
anytime they mention a particular person, they trace his lineage back then. So when they were talking about Jesus, they trace his lineage back then. If you want an Old Testament version, go to the lineage of David when they made him king. David was the son of um, Jesse. Jesse was the son of Obed. Obed was Obed of Ruth. Ruth was a Gentile that married, uh, that, that was uh, Naomi's uh, daughter-in-law that lost his, her husband and eventually came with his with his mother. That's why they call him Ruth of Okuda. The husband had died and he still followed the mother-in-law to Israel and he married Obed. And Obed was not a gave back to Jesse. Jesse was not a gave back to David. They would name, they would calculate Obed to his father, to his grandfather, from David to Abraham, to Adam. So it depends on where you are starting from. If you are starting from New Testament, they will pick that uh, uh, person, that individual in the New Testament, and they will name his lineages. They keep, the Jews keep record of family, they have very strong family trees. Because they are, the, the, the families are even buried in family sepulchre, so they are records. Okay. So and they are not the only one. Even the Yorubas have it. Yeah. Okay. Now, now, um, uh, this guy I've been asking of uh, who is the father of uh, Odudua. What's the name of the father of Odudua? We will research it and we'll let you know. So don't bring that as a big issue, because the history of Yoruba land. When we are talking of uh, the Yoruba land of Ife. I don't know. I'm looking at that. You know why that is going to be? Hold on. Sorry. 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 You understand? Because if you don't identify his father, then that means it's a fictitious character. If oh, we are oh, not able to prove, on, hold on. Oh, if oh, we are oh, not oh, able oh, to oh, prove oh, that that his father does not exist, Patrick, please, that, let that him, man does not exist. Patrick, let him speak. Yeah, Adan Koko. So let me tell you, Patrick. In Ilefe, as you see it, as small as it is, we have sixteen kings in Ilefe. And the most supreme one among them is the honey that we know today. 16 kings. So the father of Odudua was one of the king, was one time rather the supreme king in the life. But the history started from, I mean, the, the uh, Odudua was the one that spread the, um, how do I say it? He's the one that, um, you know, spread the kingdom of Ife outside the Ife itself with his own family. And therefore, the glory of Ife, according to the history, when they are writing that history of Ife, because Odudua and his own children are the one that extended that spread the glory of Ife outside and beyond Ife. That is why you see the story started particularly from Odudua. And like I told you, before Odudua became king, they will have had 97 kings in Ife, among whom was Odudua father himself. And Odudua father, while he was on throne, Odudua went on a mission with his group of warriors outside Ife Kingdom. 
outside what we know as Nigeria today. And while he was away, his father was overthrown, was killed by another, um, you know, um, by Obama King or something like from the Obatala family lineage. They occupied the throne. So when Odudua was coming back, maybe when he got to Nukwe or what if it's not at Nukwe today or somewhere closer to Ife, the news oh, got oh, oh, oh. Has, been, has been overthrown. He actually has been killed. So with his warrior, they launched attack against that king that was on throne. They were sacked, they were pushed out outside the leaf. Those men went out to form Olubo of Igbo. You know that the richest king in Nigeria today who owned um, this thing in Elage. Obat. 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 So he's the one that was the one that was was his great great grandfather that was controlled and they are from Obatala side. And that's why you never see the Obatala family lineage and your doer. They were well, they still manage the relationship, but they are like not because of that history, they still have some kind of uh, grudges against each other. You understand what I'm saying? So, but this assertion from you from Vinny that oh Odudua is from the it's not from Vinny. Okay, uh, guys, let me come in. Sorry, please. If you stay too long, I'll forget what, uh, my suggestion. Please let me come in. Please, sorry. Yeah, I know you're not from Benin. Please. What? Let I me want to talk. Okay, talk, talk, talk. Let me ask you a question before you talk. Hold on. Are you telling us that they've been worshipping Ifa in Igodomigodo before Oromio came there? To the answer, the answer is big. Yeah, the answer is the answer is the answer is big. Yes, because people don't go yeah. and ask questions. And then, yes, and uh, uh, you don't have to do your people all the time now. Just... Oh, sorry, sorry, one man, sorry, one man, sorry, yeah. sorry. I'm not afraid. Sorry, yeah. the answer is big. Yes, I present your question. Did you say let me of that? John, just two, John, just three. John. Okay. So how did it get there? Is it invented? <laughs> Are you? Are you? Wait, I mean, wait, 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 wait. Uh, let me land. Let me land. Are you saying that the Ifa spirituality came from Ife? I mean, from what do you call it? From um, Bini? From Bini? From me, Godo, me, Godo. Oh, See, let mean, me tell you something here. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Okay. Wait, hold on. Let me say. I got, I got part of, Let me say something here. Okay, Jalco, we are holding on to hold on to hold on to it. And when I hold on to who's your father, you said no, that's not the question. Hold no, on, no, no, please. No, hold on, now. You hold on, please. Land. Give me answer, let you me now. Let me answer. I will be listening to you. Let me be patient while you don't be. Okay. Every okay. Time. Sorry, 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 sir. Sorry, sir. Listen, I'm listening. Listen. Sorry, listen. sorry. You will sorry, talk. sorry. Oh. Are you telling us that if I originated from Igodomigo and spreads to kingdom when all Islam worshippers all over the world outside Nigeria all over the world even United Nations have it on record that is from Yoruba land United Nations are you telling me that United Nations doesn't conduct investigation doesn't doesn't conduct investigation well and get their fact well before they pronounce. Ajayanko, let me answer <sighs> him. Let me answer him, please. Sorry. We are not saying that. We have to give up that we have to give up his chance to speak. That, that, to. That, yes, sorry, that, not hold not hold on. Fair, man. No, no, hold on, everybody. Hold on. Hold on. No, everybody, hold on, please. Um, everybody, hold on. I, I'm going to bail out and hand over to. Um, to Mike. Uh, before I do that, let me acknowledge um, uh, Ola came in with the super chat, and of course, you know, we are going to mention Ayo, and here he is. There's Ayo right there. 
and don't be, don't don't be mistaken. Oh, that's a second one right there. Uh, so that's how you're right there. Uh, Prince Daddy comes uh, in between the Ayo uh, super charts. Uh, Ayo carries on as he always does. Uh, here is Ayo again for the fourth time. Uh, here is Kulata coming into the conversation at some point. Guess which name I'm going to mention again is still Ayo. So that's Ayo still. And then uh, Kulata, who actually kicked off the super spaces. So thank you to all those. Keep them coming. Uh, let's take. Let's. Let, I'm going to hand over to to um to to uh Mike, who who is insisting that uh Wapi should have the opportunity to to have it say. So so Mike, over to you. Thank you everyone. Join us again tomorrow, uh, and we do it all over again. Different topics, same riveting conversation. Thank you one and all. I'll be listening in the background. It's so enjoyable. I, I, I probably listen it to it till I fall to sleep. Uh, so thank you, everyone. Uh, over to you. Uh, let, let's be fair with War Peace. That's not War Peace, at least get you know, it's like three against one. It's not fair like that. Let's allow him to. No, it's two. We are two. Me and Patrick. Okay, let's two against Patrick one. Uh, two, no, two, two against three. Two against three. Let Patrick go. Then Jude, Jude answer his question. I'll take out. Oh, yeah. Who's on the team. same point? You, who's with you? Who's yeah, your Patrick. Team? Oh, Patrick, we just do it. Okay, okay. So, I didn't know what was going on. Patrick. Okay. Yeah, okay. you see, uh, Ajani Roku, your argument has come with one assumption that the only way if I could go to any community is when or do I live there or me or minister and go to another place. We are not saying that if I came from Benin, but we are saying it is not necessary, it does not necessarily imply that Romeo was the one that brought him out. There were travelers doing this now. Let me give you a good example. Christianity came to Ethiopia, Africa, before the colonial. You can't say, oh, the white men brought Christianity. No. There was an Ethiopian Enoch that met Philip, that became baptized and became a Christian, and went back to Ethiopia with this scroll, with the, with the book of Isaiah in his hand. So, there are so many things. This man went to Indonesia through trade, through so many exchanges. You understand? So there were Ifa people all over. The, you, you all of you said that Romeo was from a war, which is easier to spread to Benin or to spread as far as he can. Well, so if if Romeo is Matosu. the chief priest of Ifa, uh, okay, yeah. Sorry, I don't. I'm not trying to suggest you. Uh, you are the one that say like we have to go by the according to the story of Ifa, right? Uh, to follow. Yes. The, Okay, so now my question is the story of creation according to Ifa, how does it go? This is what this is what I'm saying. Eh? According to Ifa that I read, they said that uh, Eleguna is sent Orishas from heaven. I think the first Orisha was on me or something like that. I don't really have the full story. That the Orishas were like uh, some of the other Orishas were like angels, but we have come to realize that the Orishas were human beings. They could be sent to from heaven to um to to earth as human beings you understand they won't come like spirit to be able to uh, can you name those uh, uh, can you name the original uh, you know, some of them uh, no? they talk of people like obatala Songo, and it doesn't mean that they all came at the same time they could have come at different times in their history we all knew Shogo was a grandson of otua that eventually became the the the, the alarm bell for you. Focus but on the creation part. The creation, the creation, the creation part. Now, well, I'm saying the, the, according to the far uh, tales, which I don't really have the full story, is that uh, he sent Orishas, that the energy Mary, that the Almighty started by creating the Orisha. They, they meet, met in heaven and then, after creating the met in heaven and gave them different assignments and sent them to different uh, places. That That's the that's the narrative. You understand? Uh, Patrick, according to Ifa, uh, might know this. That does not say Ifa created Ife. They say Ifa created the world. I no, don't they say the Mari. They say the Mari created the world. Oh, no, sorry, sorry, the world. So, so which one that I tell you? Which one that I tell you where Ifa started from? Uh, I mean, I'm listening. The Mari, you marry, according to the Yoruba tradition, is not an Orisha. The you marry is your long. Orishas are human beings. Any hero, let me tell you the, the, some of these things. Any hero in the Yoruba land, once he dies, he becomes an Orisha, just like a saint, just like you look at someone and say, This person is so powerful, let's make him send Teresa, send this. So the Orishas were 
human beings. Shango was not a god. Shango was the grandson of Odu, the son of Oromio, who was an Alafi, or for you, the younger brother of Alafi and Jaka. Oh, Patoski, Patoski, he said in creation time, when Odu Mari sent the Rishas to S, he says Sai Shango is one of them. So, I mean, come on. No, what I'm saying is that when they say in creation, a little man is sent to Rishas to S, it does not actually mean he sent them the same time. What do, you mean? what do you mean? They had in Tavans. Yeah, they had in Tavans. Okay. No, give, give us what you first said now. Nah. No, I, I just told you I cannot quote it with accuracy. I cannot okay. come, come up with okay. the okay. theme Maybe of the story. Okay, does someone else know now. the story of Rachel? Well, uh, Mike, I bet, please, sorry, let Jide ask a question. So I can round up the question now. Please, I'm taking a question from both. Uh, okay, Jide, Jide, ask him a question. Okay, Patoski, uh, see, I have told you. If we start mixing history and mythology together, we or spirituality, we will be mixing the point. Okay. Um, all these Orishas in, in creation were viewed as spirits of nature, forces of nature. You understand? And yeah, and this thing is not only common to Yoruba, Yoruba uh, mythology. Okay. But what I wanted to ask Wapis is this Wapis. Yeah, I'm here. Are you saying those people don't exist? Is that what you're telling us? I've, I've not said that. Yeah, Why you call, when you say something is meat, that means it's, 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 it's no, not real. I'm trying to, I'm not saying meat in terms of. That's meat. what you said. Now you say it's mythology. Mike, let's just ask this question. No, no, no. We have to get things straight. We can't just be talking about it. The proper word will have been spirituality, which I tried using later. Uh, you understand, uh, Mike? But it's no I'm mythology, not, it's real. Right? I'm, I'm not discrediting the history. It's my history, I cannot. Okay? What I'm trying to say now is this. Um, what piece? Mm. The character of Ifa worldwide is Lefe. We agree the what? The, what the, capi the capital of Ifa worldwide is Lefe. Okay, yeah. you're telling me. I'm telling you. Okay, because, okay. Because now, this is the reason. We can trace the origin of Ifa to somebody. Onumila in Ilefe. Okay? Onumila was the origin of Ifa and it is in Ilefe. So Sorry, can wait, I ask wait. you a question on that, Romila? Sorry, just a simple you, you take it along. Is the family, is this, uh, is blood knowledge of Romila? Yes. Are they still in Ife? Are they still in Ife? Yeah, because Romila yeah, is yeah, a human being now. They are still there. They are still there. They are still there. Yes, okay, let's give up his chance to debunk you guys. Okay, what please go ahead. No, no, yeah, no. Sir, let's finish. Let's land. I will take out. Okay, okay, land, land, land. Now, what I wanted to ask, I have a question to ask you. What I wanted to ask you is, where is the source or who is the source of Ifa in Bini? Okay? You understand? I've I'm told listening. You, I'm listening. I told you now that in Ghana, in fact, the, the priest from Ghana said that, the priest from Ghana said that as far as Kemet, that they were practicing Ifa in Kemet, and that the source was still from Elife. These are a very okay. old, okay. a very old priest. Okay? Okay. Let's, let's, right. let's, not, let's not go too far into that. So now the second question I wanted to ask you is this. If Ududua was from Benin, what is the name of the father of Udua in Benin. You know that Oh, this, oh see, listen. Oh, uh, Ogiso Udu was his father. Wait, wait. You okay. know what I said? I want to listen to the story from your own end. Okay. What is the father, said, the, the name of the father from Jide, 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 Jide. Let, 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 her, let her, look. Jide, can you hear me? I can well, hear you. Well, guys, you ask me a question. Let me answer your question. No, I'm very yeah, okay. Hold on. More more look, look at where he's contradicting himself now. He said Ogiso was Odudua father. Oh, you do even hear my word? Uh, hold on, hold on, please. Hold on, hold on, before you move on. I said Ogiso Wodo 
Ogison means king, uh, king oh. title. The name of the king, the, the name of the king is Ogodo. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Oh, okay. Uh huh. All right. Yeah. So okay. So that is what your is the tells you that. Okay. No, no, so my that, that is the history. Okay, it's father to okay, son. Now. Uh huh. That is the history. That is your history from Benin, right? Uh -huh, yes. Yeah. So, but you have not been able to tell us his father according to you guys. <laughs> At least we know that this man exists because we have a father who knows his father. This is your own. We don't know whether he exists because oh, he doesn't have a father. And I don't know why somebody will be existing without having a father. Okay, hold on now. Now, so he ran away from there and he became king in Ileife. And his grandson, he have to say, run he was banished. He was banished. Uh, he was banished. Okay, he, he was. Yeah, banished. he was a the Catholic uh, church beneath prince. Okay, uh, okay, he was banished, and he became king in Ileife, right? And then he has to send his grandson to okay, go. Okay, let's tell you what the... I have. Hold let's tell you it happened. Oh, Patuski, now let him learn. Let him learn one at a time. You know, he have to. You know, let's keep order. Ah. So he had to send his grandson to go and dismantle that his uh, father throne and colonize them in uh, in the Godomi Godo. Is that what you guys are telling us? No, oh, that, that's that's what you are saying. That, that, that's what, tell you what, that, that's that's what we are saying. What you are saying is different from what you are saying. Let's tell you now. No, 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 that is what you are Let's telling answer your question. No, that's because not what we are telling you. Hold on, because you didn't ask a question from. But I'm not answering the question yet now. You just call me and I gave you the opportunity. Let me answer. You. Let, me, let me take, a, let me take no, all your no, questions. Now, he, he asked you who was the father. Oh, I just answered you now. I, just, you I, just, I, I think he answered. He answered that he's born. I have no feeling. Okay, but well, hold on, hold on. Let's tell you what. Let's tell you what. Let's answer Daniel. You know. So that everybody is talking constrain. over each other. I don't even know who's. Uh, where, okay, so where, where did we? Let's continue to strain. Let's correct him. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to keep order here, guys. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. okay. So, so That's basically, Jide uh, asked question, right? He asked uh, Wopis, who's the father? And Wopis gave an answer. He says, Ogiso Udo, right? That's the father. Yeah. And then yeah. Ajani Ajani could not ask, uh, I think he threw his own question. I forgot what that question was. So, yeah, uh, my question, so my question is that, so Odudua now sent his grandson to go and, dis to go and dismantle that his father um uh, throne that's a good in, question dude but so like that uh, you are just being before you guys that's answer that wait 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 eh? wait before patoski and what is what you answer that before you answer that before you answer that i don't think it will make a good point so he's saying he's so grand so now why did they change oh. the title of wait now so oh, you guys oh. are answering it hold on now i'm trying to answer oh. the question it's the same question but just in a different form so now why would they change the title of Ogodomigodo to oba <laughs> okay, uh, please, uh, hold on. Pastor, please go first, and I will go after you. No, let, let, me, okay, let me answer. 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 Let me he went to Ife and got to Ife at the time when there was crisis. He stepped in, was able to rescue the situation, and eventually became the only. Now, when his father died, hmm, and they wanted to choose a king, then the Ife told them, the oracle told them, that this there's a prince that, was, that didn't die, that that prince didn't die. He was actually supposed to be killed, sorry. But the man that took him to the forest to be killed, spared him, and said he could not kill a prince. So he left the, the prince and let him go. So that one became a king in Ife. So they now trace him to Ife when his father died and said, Ah, they sinned against this guy. Let them correct it. He now went, they went to him to come and take up the throne of his father. 
They just said no, that he doesn't trust them. They now said, give us your son. He now said no. He said, this is what I would do. He gave them lies. He now realized and said, if you keep this lies Thank you. for how many years that you can <laughs> come and I'll give you my grandson. So they took that life to be and put it on the hair of a slave. So that life was breathing. When they now, it was not to return the life, they just took one of the lives of the slave head and gave it to, to him. That was how he now sent Oromia to become Bini. So it wasn't as if he came to colonize. You understand? It was the family and the fact of let's 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 take on back or let's correct this thing. So, so you say the Ifa, wait, 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 hold on. I'm trying to understand one part of what you say. You said the Ifa Oracle told them he been it. To go. I don't yeah. know whether it was Ifa. The Oracle. Wait, told them that you have to know the name of the Oracle now. What's the name of the Oracle? Hold on, Mike. Mike, Mike. Okay. No, no, hold on. No, no. I'm trying to understand that part. I'm not disputing. I'm just trying to get it. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me come in. A uh, few okay. months ago, we argued about this thing here too. And same thing I just said. Don't, what, the, don't you see Benin is straight, very straight, very accurate. If we call it Benin man, man, in his sleep, the same thing I'm saying, I'm actually saying, he will see. What piece? Hold sorry, on, sorry, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You have the floor. What piece? You have the floor, you have the floor. You see that point of that history, right? That you guys just said, just that point, is, it's a very critical point. Because you say on that Benin side, that the Oracle sent them to Ife, so we're going to look for what to do at the command we, in Benin, right? Right? We, and then, we, we, wait, yes, get, later, wait, wait, hold on, I'll yes, get, later. I'll, I'll get hold to that. On, you, you are saying it, you are saying the way we sit it. Let me, I'll get to that. See. Okay, okay, but you I, get to, you answer it now. You, you will correct me, you will correct me. But now I'm trying to say. I'm going to correct, oh, 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 correct you. Told them. Okay, sorry, if I could tell them to go okay, to the, the Oracle and bring a Benin priest. So go and bring a Benin priest that was okay, Bini, okay, 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 okay. But in on the yeah, Yoruba, the Benin priest, the Oracle was also told on me. Right now, we're talking, we can't talk at the same time now. Calm down. But on the Yoruba side, the only is that the Oracle told on me to go and establish for your kingdom and Benin kingdom. But not so to do what I told him to do. I don't see that's the own argument. I don't see that. That's the argument. that's the story. Me, I know the oracle okay, told okay, him. Okay, Mike, please let me run okay, everything up. Okay, so please go ahead. Yeah, yeah. First of all, hey, what did this? Uh, I'm trying to hold on to it. I want Adaliko said. I'm trying to stay hold on to it. But I will start from here. First of all, Adaliko and Jide. A Kadera is what the one name in Benin when he was a prince. His name was Prince A Kadera, and his father was Odiso Owodo. And this was the last Ogisu dynasty. His father was banished. The area he banished his father too is called Iimi today. When he banished his father,